Okay, Sek, uh, we were talking about Cradle, mm -hmm. about how you coordinate with the private sector, private sector. and research people, etc. You're developing, uh, you're trying to develop healthy ice cream, mm -hmm. uh, bamboo propagation. You know, when you mentioned bamboo propagation, I was like, you know, what? I think you were the guys who developed this coconut choir, the coconut fiber yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah, in, uh, suppressing landslides. Correct, correct. Why not bamboo? Yeah, that can be done, although we are looking at higher value products out of uh, bamboo. So, yeah. for example, now, I just, uh, we inaugurated the yarn production facility in Miagao, Iloilo, okay. uh, inside the ISAT University, Iloilo Science and Technology okay. University. Uh, this is the first... Uh, automated yarn production plant that we have set up at yeah. least uh, uh, un under the government supervision and uh, this actually uh, uh, addresses the gap between the raw material that they have there, which is cotton, which is still planted by farmers, and pineapple. Okay. And of course, we later look at bamboo and abaca, because uh, we are now blending cotton with uh, with uh, pineapple mm -hmm. and uh, abaca and, uh, and cotton mm. and now we are uh, uh, already have the technology to blend cotton with bamboo so this is one of the because technically it's always been either pure cotton or pure pineapple, pineapple for especially for making very expensive expensive oh, oh, fabric oh. and uh, abaca has has in you been used for industrial purposes, yes, yes. like for car seats and yeah. and uh, seat belts, etc. But it has a high demand now for uh, fabric. Okay. And uh, so we are doing that because uh, you know a place like Miagao and its neighboring towns are well known as weavers, yeah. hablon makers, mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. But the yarn production has been the gap. Mm -hmm. So they have to buy from Manila or from uh, elsewhere yeah. because the manual way of pro producing the yarns now has, has become very difficult. So and it takes forever because yeah, uh, yeah. My, my wife who's into <laughs> fabrics, we went to Iloilo oh. and, and we saw someone using a, oh. you know, the antiquated correct, uh, correct. looms mm -hmm. and uh, whatever you call it. But, yeah. but Iloilo is becoming a... a center for for yarns yeah, and, yeah. and uh, up to antique of course so, okay. oh, oh. so we have done that and uh, the weavers there are very appreciative mm -hmm. of course we took in uh, people from uh, the marketing group who, yeah. who will uh, take care of buying the uh, the products anyway that is just an uh, that's an example new, that's a new thing because yes. uh, in the past marketing was never part of the picture yes, you yes. guys just produce the technology or the science but it never got to the business people and not, never the marketing. Yeah, now major collaborator in marketing, the, okay. uh, the group of uh, what we call Great Women. This is an NGO of women, uh, which will be the marketing uh, uh, partner. Okay. Now, uh, we, we, were, we came into that because of bamboo. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess bamboo has also other uh, uh, high value uses, like uh, we, we can use it for um, Money. I mean, for fiber. Yeah, fiber. Okay? Yeah. Uh, it it can uh, it can uh, <coughs> be used now for, as you said, uh, uh, now we can use the bamboo as raw material for cars, mm. etc. Et uh, we just have to make it in such a way that uh, it will be uh, it can be mass produced.